Hello, financial adventurers and corporate strategy aficionados. It's Iggy, your seasoned guide from Investing Iguana, back with another in-depth analysis. Today, we're dissecting a monumental move in the corporate world with our episode, Keppel's Bold Leap, the $1.35 billion Singapore dollars Airmont acquisition and its impact. This isn't just any corporate maneuver, it's a strategic masterpiece by Singapore's own Keppel Corporation, marking its foray into the European asset management scene. As an expert who's been analyzing and forecasting business trends for years, I'll take you behind the scenes of this game-changing acquisition. We'll explore what this $1.35 billion Singapore dollar deal means for Keppel, how it positions the company on the global stage, and the potential ripple effects in the broader market. From Kipple's humble beginnings to its ambitious vision, let's unravel the intricacies of this bold move and its implications for the future. So, gear up for a deep dive into one of the most significant corporate strategies of our time. In a strategic move that signifies its global expansion ambitions, Singapore's Kipple Corporation has announced a bold acquisition that's set to reshape its business landscape. On Wednesday, November 29th, Keppel revealed that its unit, Keppel Capital Holdings, will acquire all issued voting shares in the prestigious European asset manager Airmont Capital. This acquisition, valued at a maximum of 1.35 billion Singapore dollars, 1 billion US dollars, marks a significant leap for Keppel in its journey from a humble beginning to a global powerhouse. The deal will unfold in two phases. Initially, in the first half of 2024, Keppel Capital will acquire a 50% stake in Airmont for a maximum of 356.9 million euros, 391.6 million US dollars. The journey will culminate in the first half of 2028 with the purchase of the remaining stake for 575 million euros as per Keppel's stock exchange filing. Lo Chenhua, Keppel's CEO, emphasized that this acquisition is more than just a business transaction. It's a strategic step towards realizing Keppel's ambition of becoming a leading global asset manager and operator. This move will not only enhance Keppel's presence in the European market, but also extend its reach beyond the Asia-Pacific region. Keppel, which has evolved remarkably since its corporatization as a ship repair yard in 1968, outlined in May its vision to transition into a major asset manager, overseeing 150 billion US dollars by 2030 with an emphasis on green energy. This shift in business strategy is set to align Keppel more closely with the operational models of renowned firms like Canada's Brookfield Asset Management and Australia's Macquarie Group. The acquisition of Airmont Capital will significantly bolster Keppel's funds under management, adding an initial 24 billion Singapore dollars to its current portfolio of about 53 billion Singapore dollars. This development is a crucial milestone towards achieving its target of 100 billion Singapore dollars in funds under management by 2026. Moreover, the acquisition is anticipated to be immediately earnings accretive to Keppel and is expected to enhance the company's recurring income. Backed by Singapore's state investment firm Temasek Holdings, Keppel plans to finance this ambitious acquisition through a variety of sources, including unutilized banking facilities and internal cash reserves, as well as the issuance and or transfer of shares. Airmont Capital, established in 2007, manages funds totaling 24 billion Singapore dollars and has a diverse investment portfolio that includes assets and businesses in sectors such as office space, student accommodation, workforce housing, luxury hospitality, and production studio infrastructure. This acquisition by Keppel is not just a testament to its growth and global aspirations, but also a reflection of Singapore's expanding influence in the global asset management landscape. Now, we will analyze how Keppel Corporation's bold $1.35 billion Singapore dollar acquisition of Airmont Capital bodes for the company in 2024. With my expertise in market trends and corporate strategy, I'll guide you through what this significant move means for Keppel's future. Keppel Corporation's acquisition is not just a financial transaction, it's a strategic leap. This move signals Keppel's transition from its historical roots in shipbuilding to becoming a global player in the asset management sector. Let's break down what this could mean for Keppel in 2024. 1. Diversification and Growth 
The acquisition of Airmont Capital by Keppel Corporation is a significant strategic move that marks the company's entry into the European asset management market. This acquisition is a part of Keppel's broader strategy to diversify its business operations and revenue streams. Airmont Capital, a well-established player in the European asset management market, provides Keppel with a strong platform to expand its geographical footprint beyond the Asia-Pacific region. This move not only allows Keppel to tap into the European market, but also provides it with access to a diverse range of assets and investment opportunities. The diversification strategy adopted by Keppel through this acquisition is expected to have multiple benefits. Firstly, it broadens Keppel's geographical footprint, allowing it to reach new markets and customers. Secondly, it diversifies its revenue streams, reducing the company's reliance on any single market or sector. In 2024, we can expect to see the initial impacts of this expansion. The integration of Airmont Capital into Keppel's operations could potentially provide the company with new growth avenues. These could come in the form of increased revenue from the management of European assets or through the leveraging of Airmont's expertise and networks to identify and capitalize on new investment opportunities. 2. Increased Funds Under Management, FUM Airmont Capital, a well-established asset management firm, currently manages a portfolio worth $24 billion Singapore dollars. With Keppel Corporation's acquisition of Airmont Capital, this substantial portfolio will be integrated into Keppel's Assets Under Management, FUM. This integration will significantly boost Keppel's FUM, bringing it closer to its ambitious target of overseeing $150 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. This target, set by Keppel, is a testament to the company's growth strategy and its commitment to expanding its asset management business. The increase in FUM is not just a numerical target. It has direct implications for Keppel's revenue streams. Higher FUM typically translates into higher management fees, as these fees are often calculated as a percentage of the total assets managed. Therefore, the acquisition of Airmont Capital could lead to an increase in management fees for Keppel. Moreover, the increase in FUM could also lead to higher recurring income. Recurring income, which includes management fees and other regular earnings, contributes to the financial stability of an asset management company. It provides a steady stream of revenue, reducing the company's reliance on more volatile income sources. 3. Enhancing Global Presence Kippel Corporation's entry into the European market through the acquisition of Airmont Capital is a strategic move that could potentially open doors to new opportunities and partnerships. The European market, with its diverse range of assets and investment opportunities, offers a fertile ground for Kippel to expand its operations. As Kippel integrates Airmont's operations, it stands to gain from Airmont's extensive expertise in the European asset management market. Airmont's knowledge of the local market dynamics, regulatory environment, and investment trends could prove invaluable for Keppel as it navigates this new market. Moreover, Airmont's established client base in Europe provides Keppel with immediate access to a network of investors and partners. This could facilitate quicker market penetration and potentially lead to new business opportunities. It could also enhance Keppel's global reputation as it demonstrates its ability to successfully operate in diverse markets. 4. Potential Risks and Challenges While the acquisition of Airmont Capital by Keppel Corporation indeed presents exciting prospects, it also brings with it a set of risks and challenges that cannot be overlooked. One of the primary challenges will be the integration of Airmont's operations into Keppel's existing business model. This process involves not just the merging of assets and portfolios, but also the alignment of business strategies, operational processes, and corporate cultures. The success of this integration will be a critical factor to watch in 2024, as it could significantly impact the overall benefits that Keppel can derive from this acquisition. Additionally, Keppel will need to navigate the complex regulatory environments of the European asset management sector. Each country in Europe has its own set of regulations and compliance requirements related to asset management. Understanding and adhering to these regulations will be crucial for Keppel to operate successfully in this new market. 
the market dynamics of the European asset management sector also present a challenge. The sector is characterized by intense competition, changing investor preferences, and economic uncertainties. Kippel will need to have a deep understanding of these dynamics to make informed investment decisions and to position itself effectively against its competitors. 5. Shareholder Value and Stock Performance For shareholders of Keppel Corporation, the acquisition of Airmont Capital is of significant interest, particularly in terms of its impact on Keppel's stock performance in 2024. The acquisition is expected to be immediately earnings accretive. This means that the acquisition is projected to increase Keppel's earnings per share as soon as it is completed. This could have a positive influence on Keppel's stock price, as higher earnings per share often make a company's stock more attractive to investors. However, the acquisition also involves the deployment of capital, which is a key concern for investors. The effectiveness with which Kippel deploys its capital in the acquisition and integration of Airmont Capital could significantly impact its return on investment. Investors will be keenly watching how Kippel manages this process, as it could influence the company's financial performance and, consequently, its stock price. The integration process of Airmont's operations into Kippel's business model is another critical factor that investors will be closely monitoring. Successful integration could lead to synergies and improved operational efficiency, which could positively impact Keppel's financial performance and stock price. On the other hand, challenges or delays in the integration process could pose risks and have a negative impact on the stock price. And that, my friends, wraps up our exploration of Keppel's audacious acquisition of Airmont Capital. We've traveled through the strategic corridors of this $1.35 billion Singapore dollar deal, unveiling its potential to transform Keppel from a regional powerhouse into a global asset management leader. From understanding the nuances of the acquisition to projecting its impact on Keppel's growth trajectory, we've covered it all. As we've seen, this move is not just about expanding Keppel's portfolio, it's about setting new benchmarks in the corporate world and showcasing Singapore's expanding clout in global markets. This is Iggy from Investing Iguana, reminding you that in the world of corporate finance, bold moves can lead to groundbreaking results. Stay inquisitive, keep analyzing, and join me next time for more insights into the dynamic world of finance and investments.